Hi, I'm Mark at the Caravan Place and welcome to Behind the Scenes, uh, episode five is this? Um, last video did really, really well. We tried to hit 200 likes. Um, actually, we tried to hit 100 likes and we hit 200 likes within the first day. So can we hit 200 likes on this video? Um, let us know in the comments what you'd like to see as well. Is there anything in particular that you'd like us to do? This week we're going to try and save you some money potentially. Um, there's a lot of new people in the market, as you know, it's absolutely crazy at the minute. So there's a lot of new people that have come into the market and with that comes a potential for the police to be able to pull people over, slap you a big fine, uh, maybe three points. So we're going to look at what you potentially could be getting pulled over for this summer. So one of the first things that um, the police are going to be looking for, or one of the things that are going to be looking for, where should we start with that? Being overweight. Hey, come on. I was like, I know there's a few lockdown pounds on there, but it's a bit harsh, isn't it? Oh, do you mean overweight on the caravan? Yes. Ah, right. Okay, so one big thing we see it all the time part exchanges come in they say oh we've only got a few little bits and pieces in there and two days later they're still emptying the things and swapping everything over you all do it so you're all prone to it so have a go through your caravan um i don't do it i make sure that when i'm towing when i've got the van i keep hardly anything in but some people they jam the cupboards full they get all underneath the seats you can't get under there so have a go through your van and just see can you get the weight down on it at all if you're worried about how much that you've got in there it might be worth taking it to a weighbridge because that is one of the things that not so much on the on the smaller roads if you get pulled over by the police but sometimes on the motorway they'll have a, a set of scales there and they'll be weighing and checking whether you're overweight and again you'll get slapped with a fine um, so check that your caravan isn't overweight two seconds can you just put this in the cupboard i'm sick of holding it now yeah well I, I don't want it just laying around it's got to be all nice and you were saying so yeah make sure that you've not got all the rubbish that you don't really need so next one is towing mirrors um there is sp specifics that basically if the vehicle is wider than the widest point of the caravan in all honesty, I don't think it's worth getting into the, the fine details of it. Just slap some mirrors on. It's three points if you've not got mirrors and then they'll probably slap you with a fine. Again, it's, you're an easy target. If you've not got mirrors on um, because you think, well, no, actually I've measured it and it's on, on my vehicle's wider than the caravan. and You're more prone to getting pulled over because when the police are watching you coming down the road, if you've not got mirrors on, they'll be thinking, ah, he's not got mirrors on. That's three points. And, a big fine will pick on him so just put mirrors on for what they cost even if you don't use them just actually put them on so they're visible um, if you don't know that you should have mirrors um, again make sure that you've got mirrors on there because you're just an easy target without them uh, and if you've got them on you can do your hair and have a look in there as well just when you pull over at the services waiting for the missus to mess about as they normally do speed limits know what your speed limits are if it's a uh, dual carriageway or motorway 60 mile an hour single carriageway is 50 mile an hour so just make sure that you're not speeding and keep your speed limits uh, if you're not too sure have a little bit of a google now another one is number plates this is going to be a hot one this year uh, if the police notice that you haven't got the correct number plate on and also very very possibly if you haven't got the bsau 145d correct markings it depends if the traffic officer is having a good day or a bad day really um, but if it was me and saying that sometimes put a bit of a card on the back if I forgot my number plate or something and I shouldn't do that um, but it is going to be something that they're going to pick up on this year so I think if it was me I would just make sure that I've got the correct number plate to match your towing vehicle and that it's got the correct markings on there as well so it's a proper MOT road legal number plate otherwise you're just opening yourself up for an easy fine um, they are going to be really hot on it this year so just make sure 
the number plate on the back of the caravan matches your car. Right, now we're getting down to the serious stuff. If you passed your test after 1997, there's a chance, and I'll say chance, that you may need a B plus E uh, category on your licence. So you might need to take an extra licence. If your vehicle and caravan maximum weights are over three and a half tonne, you will definitely need a B plus E licence. And if you haven't got that, there's a chance that they can do you for dangerous driving and actually give you a fine anywhere up to two and a half thousand pounds. So make sure that you've got the right category license for your car, otherwise you could be getting into some hot bother. Now again, as we mentioned on the very first one about weights, um, it's, it's a tricky one because you need to make sure that also that your car isn't overloaded. Um, now in theory, you could tow something 15, 1600 kilos maximum weight with a car that can only really tow 1300 kilos. Um, as long as the car isn't overloaded and the caravan isn't overloaded, they actually couldn't really do you um, for that, for overloaded. But what they could potentially then do you for is that if your car says that it can only tow 1300 kilos maximum towing capabilities and the caravan was 1500 kilos in theory as long as the car wasn't overloaded and the caravan wasn't overloaded they couldn't do you for that but what they would do you for is no insurance if your car has a maximum permissible towing mass of one figure and the caravan was heavier than that at its maximum you're basically towing without any insurance. So on your V5, just double make sure that the maximum brake trailer weight is more than what the weight of your caravan is. Now, you'll notice on this weight plate that we've got a massing running order of 1344 and our MTPLM, which is our maximum total permissible laden mass, I think that's right, of 1499, that is the figure that when you get pulled over that they will be looking at. Um, there's no point turning around and saying, oh, I've got nothing in the caravan, I'm towing it empty, so it's only 13.44, doesn't matter. What they're gonna actually go off is your MTPLM. So always work off your higher value there because that is what the police are gonna be looking at um, and saying that that is what your car should be capable of towing. And there's a couple of reasons that you want to do that. Firstly, to make sure that you've actually got valid insurance to be able to tow whatever you're towing. But secondly, it's a safety issue. If you've got a car that, say, weighs 1,300 kilos or has got a maximum towing weight of 1,300 kilos and you're towing a caravan of 1,500 kilos, there is a potential there that the caravan could be heavier than your tow car. Uh, and even though if they're not both overloaded, you can't get in trouble that way, you could get in trouble coming down a hill and the caravan is heavier than the car and it's going to dominate what the car is going to do so it could be very very dangerous so just double check on your v5 the maximum towing mass and it's heavier then than the caravan two things then as i say for, for safety reasons and also if you do get pulled over it's something that they're going to turn around then and say that you've got no insurance um, and basically you shouldn't be on the road and again you're going to end up with a hefty fine Another one is your lights. Um, so before every journey, just make sure that all of your lights are working. Make sure your indicators and your brakes are the most important. But obviously you want your side lights as well. If it goes dark, you need to have your side lights. So every time that you travel, just make sure that all of your lights are working. Because again, if you're traveling down the motorway, you put your brakes on, nothing's working. It's potentially dangerous. But also if you've got a police car following um, and they're looking for for people to pull over and you've got a brake light out or an indicator out they're going to pull you over and again it's potentially easy money for them hopefully uh, we've give you all the main big issues that the police are going to be trying to look for this summer when they pull you over um, hopefully we might just save you a few quid if uh, if you do get pulled over and again if we've missed anything and there's anything that you think actually you've missed a trick there Get it in the comments below. Um, let us know if you've been pulled over already, what is it that they've been looking for and what have they been checking. Uh, if you like the video, again, give us a thumbs up. Again, as I said, we're trying to hit 200 likes within the first day on this one, so that's a big, a big ask. So keep the likes coming in and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks, I'm Mark at The Caravan Place.
It's coming home, it's coming home. Ah, oh, Dan, you're from Italy, aren't you? Of course. <laughs> We're playing you. No. Italy versus England. Yeah. Sat Sunday, Sunday night. Sun, yeah, so who's going to win, Italy or England? I bet England. You bet England? Yeah. That's not very patriotic, is it? Yeah, You've turned into an Englishman now, haven't you? No, 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 no. He used to be, he used to be Italian, now he's English, he's no, been no. converted. We You've seen it. the light, haven't you? We bet. Yeah. We do a nice bet. We do a bet. Yeah, you know, like uh, gambling, whatever. All right, you're into a bit of a gambler, are you yes, then? That's it. But if England win, huh? As they are going to, yeah? Yeah, they will. They will anyway. I will... Uh, I'm not so sure, you know. Yeah, I will say yes. Because I will get one month off. Huh? Next one. Huh? August? <laughs> yes. So the, the, so the deal is, if England win, yeah. we're going to be so ecstatic and happy yeah. that... You're yeah. gonna get a month off. Yes. Because you haven't. Been, how long has it been since you've been back to Italy? Because uh, of everything. One year and seven months. So you've not seen any of your family no, no, for all that time. No. So, if England win, a free ticket. I'm gonna buy you your plane tickets. Yes. Two hundred pounds. I think more than two hundred pounds. Whatever. Okay. That's I'll it. get you. I'll get you flights. Yeah. And then you're gonna have a month in Italy Jeez. to go and see your family. Bill. I'll. If Italy win. No, no, if England win, <laughs> if, Eng if Italy win, you're getting nothing, you're not going, you're like... <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if Italy, if win, Italy win, it. no, it's not yeah, the same. Okay, is that a gamble? Yeah, we just said that. That's not a gamble. Yeah, we said that. We said You've got, there's got to be Italy a winner and a loser. Yeah, but... Uh, it sounds like I'm losing out either way, doesn't it? We'll win, huh? whoever, yeah. And we get three tickets in one month. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. Yes. That's not how it works. Yeah. If England win, yeah. I'll buy you your flights. Yes. Plus one month off, Italy will win. I'm not paying for your month off. Oh, you've got to use your holiday for that, though. I've got 30 minutes. The caravan place.